Good evening, I'm Jen Holloway. And I'm Josh Benson. Thanks for being with us tonight. Well, new tonight, the Pasco County teenager who committed suicide earlier this week, was she bullied? Well, 15-year-old Tavana Holton's family members believe a video posted online of her showering drove her to take her own life. But here's the catch. An attorney for another involved party emailed News Channel 8 earlier saying there's actually more to this story. News Channel 8 Chip Osowski joins us now live from the Sheriff's Office. Chip, were detectives investigating this case already? Well, Jen, I was hoping to come here and get some answers to the questions raised by this attorney, but because this is an open and active investigation, there's really little anyone can say. It was shortly after a Snapchat video surfaced showing Tavana Holton showering in a locker room that she took her own life. Her mother, LaVon Holton Teamer, discovered her body. Then I go to the bathroom. I couldn't get in the bathroom. The bathroom light was off. So I tried to get out and I looked down. I seen a puddle of blood. Family members quickly put two and two together. The video prompted the suicide. Everybody was up there talking about and calling her names and everything. And they said it went up on um, social media was snapped, whatever Snapchat, I'd never heard of that before, um, about three something that afternoon. Attorney Jeffrey Brown, pictured here in a previous interview, believes there's more to this story. In an email to News Channel 8, he writes, quote, this narrative is untrue and not based on credible facts and is their opinion only. The cyberbullying angle to this story is not based on facts. Brown now represents another girl involved in the case and went on to say his client is now being threatened. Quote, people are reading and listening to this narrative and sending hate emails because they believe the narrative to be true. We spoke with Sheriff Chris Nako about the investigation and the new allegations. Is there any reason to believe it's not cyberbullying, that maybe something else is going on? Yeah, you know, right now, until the investigation gets complete, yeah. we don't know exactly why. Does the girl that took the video, do you know of any threats against her? No, not that I know of. Um, I don't know if the sheriff's office has received any, but I, I haven't been personally told or updated of anything of any threats to anybody else related to this case. And I did ask Brown for an on-camera interview. He declined my request. I spoke with the victim's mother who told me the girl in question called her right after her daughter's death to apologize. She now wonders why, if she doesn't feel any responsibility, her family hired this attorney. Back to you. And Chip, you're trying to get some information. The attorney won't talk specifically. So why the, why the email? What was the purpose of the email? Well, according to the email, this particular attorney believes that some of what we're reporting is misinformation, and he believes that is putting his client's well-being at risk. All right, Chip Osowski, live for us tonight in Pasco. Chip, thank you.